Hey guys, I'm here with my friend Brian again. And in case you missed our last video with Brian, you can click right here and watch that ghost story first or after this, whenever, whenever you feel like it. And you can also click right here and check out Brian's channel. So here's all these things for you to check out first. Brian has another ghost story for us and I am just gonna let him do his thing. Well, um, when I was seven years old, uh, my grandfather passed away and he left us his house in Santa Barbara. And this was the house that my mom and her brother and sister grew up in since they were little kids. About a month after moving in, I'm just riding my bike across the street and I see a lady in a sundress walk up our driveway and our, our garage was separate from the house, walk up our driveway, open the gate and go back into the garage. So I was like, okay, it's interesting, you know, but I didn't really think much of it. Uh, when I got back to the house, I just casually asked my mom, is there somebody here? You got a friend over or something? You know, and she's like, what are you talking about? And I don't know, I was just kind of like, oh, whatever, maybe I'm saying things. About a month later, same thing, riding my bike um, and see a lady in a yellow sundress, walk up, open the gate, go back towards the garage. This time I was like, okay, I've seen that before, I'm gonna go back. But the, the, the weird thing was, is that it wasn't weird. It wasn't like she was floating or there was go. It was just it a It was woman. just a plain as day. So I, this time I go look in the garage, nobody there. Nobody's in the house. This, so that freaked me out the second time. I go to my mom and I'm like, mom, I just saw the same thing. I saw this lady walking in the garage, there's nobody there. What's up? This time my mom actually got kind of mad. She was like, you're seeing things, stop playing around, you know, like just got, it was weird. It was like, why would you get mad about that? So just kind of wrote it off, you know, and um, didn't see anything again for years, 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 years. Um, now I think I was a uh, junior in high school and I was walking home from school and same exact thing. But I always caught her, like I never saw her coming up the sidewalk or it was just like, I always caught her right as she was walking up in, into the garage. Go in the garage, nobody's there. This time, I wait till my mom gets home from work and I'm like, I was just dead serious because I remember how my mom reacted the time before. It's like, mom, I need you to level with me. Like, I'm seeing some stuff, there's nobody in there. What the hell is going on? Were you feeling like you were crazy or? I was, yeah, because this, <clears throat> you know, and it was mostly because like, you know, it was so clear. If it had been like spooky or like what you see in movies, then I'd be like, ah, my, messing with but it was clear as day and um, this time my mom starts crying and she says I need to tell you something well I never met my grandmother because uh, she died before I was born and the story was she got sick and died and you know when you're told that since you're a little kid you just assume it's the truth well it wasn't the truth my grandmother and my grandpa um, I guess they were having marital problems, there might have been some cheating, um, just not good times. My mom um, was a senior in high school, um, at the same high school I was going to, and one night she got in a fight with her mom about something really stupid. It was like her music was too loud or something like that, and goes to bed. The next morning, um, there's, mom's not there. So uh, her younger brother, who was only like, four years old at the time, goes looking for his mom and goes out to the garage and runs back and says, mommy's sick, something's wrong. And they run out to the garage and my grandma's laying there next to the door, the car's on, and she had committed suicide um. by doing turning the car on. And the uh, sad thing was is that they found her like kind of outstretched, like she had tried to get to the door or something at the last minute. and. I'm sorry. Yeah, so it was just like, ever since then, it was just like, wow, it made sense to me. And then I started seeing pictures of my grandma, and I was like, that's her. That was, wow. she was a very beautiful Latina lady. You still live in the same house? Yeah, so. Have you ever seen it again no, since then? I think because when I did see her, I wasn't looking for her. So after that, I would go and then look. looking for her. And when you're looking for something, you never yeah. see it. But it's always when you're just... Well, thank you very much for sharing that. And what do you guys think? What do you think about him seeing what sounds like was his grandmother 
out clear in the day, like a regular solid person walking to the garage over and over, like three times it happened, three times. What do you think about that? And he had no idea what had actually happened to his grandmother. He didn't know this story at all, so it's not like he could have had this in the back of his mind or something. Let me know if you have a logical explanation for this. Okay, well, thank you, Ryan. Nice having you.